So in today's video, I wanted to let you guys take a peek at my spreadsheet that I use to track my dividends that I created myself. Um, took some time to figure out things. It's been a while since I worked with Excel, so I had to figure some things out. And I think I have it to my liking for right now. And I'm sure I'm going to tweak it um, in the future, but it does the job for sure. If you look to your left, you see all my stocks. If I scroll down some more, you'll see the, the rest. So I have 39 equities in my portfolio. And each of these groups are based on the uh, months that they pay. So group number one here um, is called my monthly group. And these guys pay monthly. This group is considered group A, highlighted in yellow. They pay in the months of January, April, July, and October. This group is considered group B. They pay in February, May, August, and November. And group C pays in March, June, September, and December. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, along with these each month. So I have the number of shares per equity here in this column, I have the annual dividends for each stock here. And when you do the multiplication, you get the annual total. If you scroll down here, you have the total amount of dividends paid out to me. So right now I'm at $3,093. So if you look here, I have the monthly dividend amounts. I have each group and their totals. You add all these up, you'll get this number, but it's broken down here. So monthly I'm getting paid 476. That averages out to 39 a month. Group A is paying me 942, which comes out to 235 per quarter. Group B is paying me 751 or a total of 187. Group C is paying me 923 or a total of 230 per quarter. Now, when you add the monthly income to the group totals, you get the true totals down here. So 274, 226, and 269 out of each group. And as you see here, 226, group B is lagging behind the other two groups. So this is a good indicator because I wanna make it as even as possible. So it makes me pay more attention to that group and add to my positions in that group. Even though I may buy equities in other in the other groups, I try to tend to focus more on the group that's lagging behind. Now, if you look here, you add these all up, you divide it by three, you get the grand total of 256. So here is a visual representation of each stock's annual dividend totals. So you can quickly and, and easily see that AT&T is leading the pack at 434. Second is Altria Group at 402 and Chevron's at 361. And the thing about these three here, they all are in different groups. Altria Group's in Group A, AT&T's in Group B, Chevron's in Group C. And the reason they're sticking so far out compared to everybody else is I wanted to have an all-star in each group that pays me at least a hundred dollars every time they pay their dividend out. And Chevron's getting there. I think I'm um, maybe six shares from hitting that $400 a year mark. And then that'll give me a hundred dollars per quarter. AT&T and Ultra Group, obviously they're already there since they're over the $400 annual totals and you can see here I have all the other totals that are here annually and so one more quick little peek at everything and I and I update this probably three times a week or if I do any major additions to my portfolio I definitely update it before my Sunday video where I do a recap of my week 
And this helps me out a lot with keeping track of things. So it's a great tool, but it's not perfect. But I want to uh, give you guys a peek at it. Let's take a look at my monthly dividend tracker on the 15th of each month. I don't know why the hell I did that, but here we are. So I figured not to change. So if you look at 2020, which is in blue, I started in January at $84 a month uh, on average. And I ended the year with at $211 on average. Um, I started January this year at 221 and I'm looking forward to seeing what the number will be in December. The total dividends in 2020 was $1,660. And right now I'm sitting at 936. So when I add the May total in, I'll definitely be uh, into the thousand and I will surpass um, very quickly uh, my 2020 totals, which is very exciting. So that's all for today. I just wanted to give you a quick glance at what I use to track my dividends, um, whether it's the annual um, individual stocks or the total with everything combined. So if you guys need any help with uh, setting up a spreadsheet, um, I'll be more than happy to help. Matter of fact, I may even make this um, a template for people to use. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button uh, for more videos like this, along with my other videos. Um, if you found any value, shoot me a comment and a like. And until next time, I will talk to you on the next video.